Good morning. Um, I'd like to welcome everybody from uh, Europe, Asia, uh, us locally, us uh, from Berkeley, uh, students, staff, uh, and faculty. And I'd like to uh, extend our welcome to all of you. Um, today, we are gathering here to celebrate uh, Professor Eli Yablovich, uh, not only his scientific outstanding achievement, but also as an individual, inspiring uh, many of us, uh, our colleagues, uh, students, and uh, as far as the many uh, uh, generations uh, to come. Um, we have actually a very packed uh, uh, schedule today. Uh, we have an array of luminaries uh, talk about scientific breakthroughs in various other areas that relate, with, uh, to, uh, relate to Eli Yablovich's early discoveries and also today's work. Um, I have actually uh, two uh, colleagues of mine. My name, by the way, is Xian Zhang. I'm from Berkeley Engineering. Uh, I have two uh, co-organizers, Professor Ming Wu and Professor uh, Hong Wen Zhang, together uh, with me and put together this uh, uh, symposium. And um, I will also um, let them to speak uh, briefly about Eli's uh, scientific achievement, uh, as well as today's uh, logistics. Um, so I guess the only thing I want to mention is there is a, a little program change that Professor Atwater's uh, airplanes delayed. So uh, Professor uh, Dan uh, uh, Silverpan, uh, I'm sorry, I can't uh, Sil uh, uh, Silver Pepper, uh, will give uh, move his talk up to Harry Atwater's slot, and then they will basically uh, swap this. And other than that, I would like to invite uh, Professor Ming Wu of uh, UC Berkeley Electrical Engineering to give a brief introduction of, of uh, Professor Ila Yablovich's uh, scientific achievement. Please. Thank you, Xiang, and uh, I'd like to extend my welcome uh, to all of you coming from uh, particularly far away. Uh, we have been uh, waiting uh, for this day for a long time, not that Eli turning 65, uh, but <laughs> to uh, have a symposium uh, dedicated to his uh, scientific uh, accomplishment. Uh, Eli uh, actually is probably the person who needs the least introduction in the room. Uh, everybody uh, knows him so well. Uh, I will uh, just go over his uh, brief uh, accomplishments uh, briefly. Uh, Eli is now uh, the director of our brand new uh, NSF uh, Center for Energy Efficient Electronic Science, uh, we call E3S, and the staff members uh, who help us uh, organize uh, the uh, symposium are all uh, staffs with uh, uh, E3S. And uh, Eli uh, started his career, uh, graduate uh, uh, career at uh, Harvard, uh, in 19, uh, he got his degree in 1972, uh, working with uh, uh, Professor uh, Robergen, who will speak uh, at the end of uh, the symposium. Uh, and uh, we're also very fortunate that his uh, first student, Hosian Kwok, is also here. Uh, we'll be looking at his uh, career at Harvard uh, from both sides. And uh, uh, after uh, graduating from Harvard, he spent two years at uh, uh, Bell Labs, uh, before returning to be a faculty member at Harvard University. And Eli, as always, he's ahead of uh, the times. And back in 1979, uh, he uh, joined the Exxon uh, to do research on uh, photovoltaics and solar cells. And we all know that uh, uh, the solar cell is a vibrant industry today. Uh, but back in 1979, uh, that's uh, the early pioneering days. And in 84, uh, he switched uh, attention to uh, optoelectronics. Uh, he joined the uh, Bell Communication Research, or Bell Corps. Uh, he was a distinguished member of technical staff, and he's also director of uh, solid state uh, physics uh, research. And in 92, uh, he joined the faculty of uh, UCLA, uh, University of California at Los Angeles, uh, where he was um, Northrop Grumman Chair uh, in electrical engineering. And we're very uh, uh, fortunate that he decided to migrate north and uh, move to uh, Berkeley in 2007, uh, where he's now uh, James and Catherine Lau Chair of uh, Engineering. Uh, Eli has uh, numerous uh, contributions, uh, leaves Mark in uh, literally every field that he has done research in. Uh, in his early days in uh, photovoltaic research, 
uh, he has uh, introduced this uh, now very well-known uh, 4n square uh, light trapping factor, which is now widely used uh, in industry. Uh, and uh, uh, it's uh, very often called uh, Yablonovich uh, uh, parameter. And uh, uh, at Belcor, uh, he started uh, uh, working on uh, strain semiconductor lasers and uh, uh, had published the pioneer uh, paper on uh, the benefits of strain semiconductor uh, quantum well lasers. And literally all lasers that are being used commercially, all consisting of uh, strain quantum well lasers. Uh, he also pioneered uh, another concept uh, for doing epitaxial liftoff, uh, layer transferring very thin layer of materials, and this also become widely used in a wide variety of industry, uh, including uh, uh, in the uh, solar cell company that uh, Eli has co-founded uh, uh, recently. Uh, Eli is, of course, uh, perhaps best known for his uh, 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 pioneering work in photonic crystals. Uh, he was considered a founding father of uh, the photonic band gap concept, and he coined uh, the uh, term uh, photonic crystal. Uh, uh, I'm sure we're going to hear a lot of uh, speakers uh, talking about this. And uh, um, uh, Eli is, uh, has received uh, numerous awards. Uh, he was a member of uh, National Academy of Science and National Academy of Engineering. Uh, actually, he received uh, both memberships in the same year. Uh, he also received uh, Edo Lamb Medal, uh, William Stryfer Scientific Achievement Awards, Wood Prize, uh, Julia Springer Prize, uh, and uh, many others. Uh, we could be spending uh, a whole symposium talking about his uh, uh, awards and accomplishments. Uh, but Eli has uh, uh, now not just uh, uh, staying with uh, all his past accomplishments, he's now turning his attention to uh, tomorrow's problem. Uh, he founded this uh, NSF center here uh, at Berkeley uh, together with MIT, Stanford, and several other partners uh, uh, leading the charge uh, to change the world by reducing the electronics energy consumption by six orders of magnitude. So as with all his other research endeavors, this is very grand goal, and we have no doubt uh, he will accomplish that and uh, change all our lives uh, in the next few decades. Okay, next I would like to introduce uh, Professor Hong Wen Jiang from uh, UCOA. Uh, I only have a few logistic uh, announcements to make. Uh, because of the diversity of uh, Eli's uh, accomplishments in so many uh, different areas, so you can see today's program is actually jam-packed. Uh, it was a miracle for us to put together uh, this symposium in one day. Uh, but you see it's a solid six sessions. So because of the time constraint, uh, I would like to make the following announcement. In terms of the talk, we squeeze each talk into 25 minutes. So that's very, very short. 25 minutes, uh, this is including a minute or two for the uh, session chairs to uh, introduce the speakers and uh, uh, then follow with the presentations. Uh, and uh, I uh, uh, would like to ask uh, each speaker to leave, uh, say, three to four minutes for uh, questions. And uh, the organizer feel also it's necessary to make a rule. Uh, this is particularly for Eli. As uh, usual, Eli uh, give, ask a very insightful questions and quite often leading to extensive uh, discussion <laughs> stuff like this. So for each, for each speaker, you are allowed to ask a maximum one question. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so, so this is the uh, announcement. So let's keep track of the time. The, the session chairs should uh, uh, remind the speaker uh, five minutes before end of the talk. And uh, another thing I want to mention is the following. Uh, this, this symposium, without the general support of the National Science Foundation, uh, this E3S center, uh, is simply not possible. And uh, in fact, uh, as three of us want to really say this following, uh, we are kind of on the face of this symposium. Really, the people did the most work uh, was actually uh, Joe Yan and uh, uh, Jenny Penn. And these are the people who did the actual amount of work. So, so please, uh, when you have a chance, say hello to these people. Okay, so that's all. So I think uh, since this is a scientific symposium, let's get the technical session started. Sean, could you please? All right, uh, so uh, thank you, Hong Wen. Um, so we're going to start our technical session. Um, as uh, Professor Hong Wen Jiang just mentioned that 
Actually, there will be a six uh, areas of uh, uh, topics that Eli had made uh, uh, Mark's uh, significant impact. And the first talk, um, some of you may be curious that we have uh, three organizers are all Chinese, accidentally. Um, our first speaker, actually, accidentally, also uh, happened to be Chinese. Um, <laughs> Professor uh, Shang Hui Fan, he is an uh, outstanding uh, a star in the uh, area of photonics. Uh, 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 and also now he's uh, really uh, into uh, solar energy. So he w his talk will focus on how the influence of foreign square uh, 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 light trapping. And he's a professor at uh, Stanford Electrical Engineering, and he is uh, uh, award many uh, honors and prizes. I probably uh, don't have time to go over, but he is considered actually one of the uh, 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 most prominent uh, stars in the area of photonics and also a photonic crystal and, and solar energy today. Please.